I just want to come on here and be real with y'all for a second. That like, I know we joke around and kiki on here, but like there is a part of the single life where, you know, it's not all glitz and glam and whatever, like at times, sometimes, not all the time, this is very frustrating. It gets annoying, you know, especially if you think you found someone and it's not your person and then you have to put yourself back out there, be vulnerable again. It is annoying. It is frustrating. Sometimes you want to break your phone. You want to delete the apps. You want to block the numbers. Like you don't want to, you just don't want to do it because especially if you've been single for a long time, I, I'm tired. I'm tired. Women need to be what I like to call my version of positive toxic. And I'll give you some examples. Let's just say you and him have a regular routine. And on your way to work every morning, you give him a call. Y'all talk on the phone. At least one of those days out the week, don't call him. Tell him. She not talking to you. Okay. She is not talking to you. Don't listen to that. This is no offense to that creator and her content. But stop listening to stuff like this. See. This is exactly why men and women are so divided when in reality, all we want is love. Number one, to me, there's no such thing as positive toxicity. That's an oxymoron, okay? And why would I want to conduct myself in that type of space in an actual relationship? So here's somebody say, sometimes you got to be toxic. Switch up your routine. No, baby. If my, if my man likes me talking to him in the morning on my way to work and that's what we both enjoy, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I like cooking for my man on a Friday night and cuddling up on the couch and satisfying him and his appetite. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen if we continue to listen to shit like this. We're all going to end up by ourselves. And that's not the way that God intended, okay? We're all meant to be with something and in something or being loved by somebody. But we cannot just snap out of this toxic playing all these games. I don't have time to play games because I want something real and somebody real. And I can't follow guidelines like this. Now, if you do to each his own, let me know how it works out for you. But I'm going to tell you something. These men are going to get extremely tired of us. The way that we are sick of them and we telling them, they already got so many rules to follow. Oh, I don't eat at Cheesecake Factory. I don't like Olive Garden. And I can't drive in a car like that. And I don't want coffee for a date. They're already sick of us. And what's going to happen is men are going to be extremely content with being by themselves if we keep playing stupid kitty ass games like this. There's absolutely no way that if you are in your late 20s, early 30s, or in your 40s, you should be listening to some shit like this. And once again, no offense to her, but this don't make no sense, okay? Stop taking this type of advice because all it's going to do is ruin you and your relationship and you're going to end up by... Most of my guy friends are single right now and this is why. And no one's really talking about this, by the way. Modern day dating sucks for plenty of reasons, and it's going to continue to suck because I don't think women understand that they fully dictate and control the dating marketplace. If a man, young man gets on the Internet and sees that to get an attractive girl, to get a girlfriend, period, I need to be very successful, have everything in my life in order. Well, he's going to put his head down, build himself up. And once he's ready, he'll go find him a wife. Most men don't even really come into their own until their early to mid thirties. I say this all the time. My dad had me and he was 24 years old. He was dead broke. By his mid thirties, he was making $250,000 a year. Dating was easy as for him. Do you even think that a successful man that has a lot of money and that's relative, doesn't have to be millions. Do you think it's hard for him to operate in the dating world? No. All you gotta do as a man is flex a little bit of a lifestyle and they'll come. Pop says all the time, he said, I would hate to date in this generation. He was like, because love is so secondary. It's what can you do for me right now? How much money do you have? He said, when did 20 year olds, when were y'all supposed to be rich and everything figured out? He said, that doesn't even make any sense. Everybody wants this luxurious lifestyle, fancy lifestyle to live. But what women don't understand, the dude that has his head on his shoulders that you don't want at 24, he's going to be that rich successful dude at 30 and he might not want you that men on average have to work extremely hard to get successful especially get paid so once they reach that point they become the catch girl just has to wait to get chosen then I know a lot of women don't like when they hear this but the longer you are single the harder it's going to be for you in the dating world that's reality you need to live in it if you find a guy that has his head on right and his trajectory looks good keep him for majority of people, there is not a Prince Charming coming to save you, some rich man that's just going to fall out the sky and come get you. That's not going to happen. You don't have a lot of dating options or romantic partners. I don't know why people think they do.
All of this is just a cycle. The dude that you don't want at 25, 26, 27, once he gets established at 32, 33, you now have to get chosen. That man becomes a catch. A man that's, let's say, six foot, has all his money in order and is success successful, he is the prize now. A lot of dudes now, they'll just be single, they'll work their ass off, and once they're established and ready, they'll do the picking. And then a lot of women just have to wait to get chosen. I literally just basically communicated to this man that I don't like how he doesn't reciprocate anything. Like, if I ask him how his day was, he never asked me how my day was. Like, if I ask him how he's doing, he never asked me how I'm doing. Like, basic human decency. And do you want to know what he just said to me? Do you want to know what he just said to me? He said, if you wanted to tell me how your day was, you could have just told me. You don't have to do these weird tactics to try and get me to ask you how your day was. I'm sorry, what? Cut the film. So who's filming? Guys, stop it. I've had enough. I've honestly had enough.